Today in math, we're going to talk about making patterns. Our learning objective is to identify, describe, extend, and create patterns using different sizes, shapes, colors, and positions, slash turning. Here's our vocabulary box, boys and girls. Sometimes we call that a glossary. Pattern, pattern unit, shape, repeating pattern, size, turning. You can make repeating patterns with plain shapes. So let's take a look at this pattern. It's squares. What do you notice about the pattern? This little guy is noticing that there's a kind of a three that go together to make a unit. A small, medium, and large square descending in size. So large, medium, small. Large, medium, small. Large, medium, small. That's the repeating pattern. You probably noticed that too. Let's look at these examples. I can make a repeating pattern using different shapes. So here she is. She has, what's this shape? Square, triangle, trapezoid, circle. That's her unit, square, Triangle, trapezoid, circle. Square, triangle, what would be next? Trapezoid, good. This little guy is making a pattern using colors. So he's using the same shape, triangles, and his pattern is colors. Yellow, green, purple, blue. Yellow, green, purple, blue. Yellow, green. What are the next two? And now this fella is making a repeating pattern by turning the shape like this. So he has a square, and then the bottom of the square is a triangle over the top, is what I'm thinking it looks like, like an orange pattern block with a triangle on it. First he turns it once, and the triangle moves to the left side. He turns it again, and now the triangle's on top. Turn. Triangle on the right. Turn back to the beginning. So here's our pattern. He turns it four times. Four times. And now back to the beginning. If he turns it again, the triangle will be on the left. Sorry about my dog, you guys. He's being noisy. Okay, let's study the patterns in these examples before you head off to your assignment, okay? Number one. What comes next in each pattern? So this looks like he had he or she had a shape and then they flipped it over and then they flipped it again or turned it. Turn, 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 turn. And so the next shape would be back to the beginning again. It would look just like the first one. Okay, number two, another repeat of turns. So the shape starts out here, the red square is there, flip it, and then flip it again so it's at the bottom, flip it again. It's like there's symmetry here, isn't it, boys and girls? Like here's a line of symmetry and here's a mirror of image, and then here's a mirror image, and then here's the mirror image, and then here's the mirror image again. So this is our pattern unit, and now we're back to the beginning. Shh, you got Let's look at the repeating unit pattern here of the circles. We have, there is a change in blank in this pattern, so let's think about that first. Is it the shape? No, it's the color. Red, red, blue, red, red, blue, red, red, blue, red, red, blue. What would be next? That one would be hard for my son that's colorblind. Number four, what is the change in not color and it's not shape. These are all squares. It's the change in size. So it seems like we've got small, large, medium, small, large, medium, small, large, medium, small, what's next? And finally, number five, the change is the shape. Rectangle, 
Now this is a rectangle because it has four right angles, but it's a special one because it's got equal sides, so we call it a square. So we'll say rectangle, square, trapezoid. Rectangle, square, trapezoid. Rectangle, square, trapezoid. Okay, cool. Now what I'd like you guys to do is to go to the paper that I sent home with you called um, Making Patterns. Thank you very much.